After Gabrielle shared the details of her horrific rape, I asked protection expert Gavin De Becker what we could learn from it. What do you want to say to women who, all of us, myself included, who are conditioned to be nice? We, we just mm. want to be nice. <laughs> <laughs> it is, there's no question, this is what the culture teaches, which mm -hmm. is that uh, women have to be nice all the time. You have to engage. If I say something to you in public, you have to respond. You can't be a bitch. You can't be mean. Yeah. And the fact is that men at core are afraid that women will laugh at them. And women at core are afraid that men will kill them. And often believe that if you're not nice, you increase the likelihood of danger and risk, when in fact the exact opposite is true. It's when you're nice that you open up and give information, that you engage with someone you don't want to talk to. He or she doesn't want to let someone into the store. And for fear of being perceived as not nice, she un opens the, the door and lets him in, and it ultimately leads to a rape. I have not heard of one case in my entire career where someone was raped or murdered because they weren't nice. In other words, that's not the thing that motivates rape and murder. But I've heard of many, many cases where someone was victimized because they were open to the continued conversation with someone they didn't feel good about talking to. And didn't listen to the first, hmm. Didn't listen to the first feeling. You, yeah. Even she said, I second-guessed it. I second-guessed second it. There's a great thing that Gavin Becker says in his book, Gift Appear, on page 67, hello. He says, we must learn and then teach our children that niceness does not equal goodness. Niceness is a decision, a strategy of social interaction. It is not a character trait. People seeking to control others almost always present the image of a nice person in the beginning. How many times have you been in a position as a woman in particular, I'm speaking to the women now, because it's so interesting that men don't carry this with them. Men don't have to worry if the doors are locked at night. Men don't have to worry if they're walking to a parking lot. They don't have to worry in the same way that, that women do about protecting themselves, protecting um, their bodies. So how many times have you been in a situation where you did walk to the parking lot late at night? You did get on an elevator in a building and another strange man or men got on the same elevator and you felt that this is not good, but allowed yourself to stay there, to stay in that moment because you wanted to be nice.